local school districts across the state suffering from teacher shortages just days before those students are set to return. In fact, WPTV's Derek Lowe live in Fort Pierce this morning at the Creative Arts Academy of St. Lucie. Derek, you spoke with the superintendent, John Prince, about staffing in schools. What did he have to say? Well, Mike, good morning. Superintendent Dr. John Prince says that come the first day of school here in St. Lucie County, every classroom will have a certified teacher. About one month ago, the district made a really big push to hire 200 teachers. As of Monday, there were about 64 openings, but Dr. John Prince says that he created this year 80 additional non-classroom positions called interventionist. They are meant to increase student support. St. Lucie Public Schools now has over 4,000 employees, all of which will return this week. Today, in fact, with a new $426 bonus given to them just weeks ago, Dr. John Prince says that he will address all staff this morning in a live stream and that this week will be focused on professional development ahead of the first day of school next Wednesday. Bottom line is every single classroom in St. Lucie County will have a certified teacher in front of them ready to go on the first day. So we have a plan, but you know, we are faced with adversity and we are competing with uh, you know, other districts for the best and brightest teachers. Dr. John Prince says for the first time ever, St. Lucie Public Schools is now rated the number one school district on the Treasure Coast based on student performance. He says his main goal for students this year is to increase literacy among the student body. Coming up in the next half hour, we'll tell you how he handles to uh, hopefully increase student safety this school year. But for now, reporting live in Fort Pierce, I'm Derek Lowe, WPTV News Channel 5.